Okay. We did it. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> um, lead the way. Oh, I gotta lead the way? Yeah, you can. Dang. Uh, why are you put me on the spot? Well, first of all, we got the... What are we doing? We got the Moop Bang, Luck Bang, mm -hmm. Wendy's, with, this is Flight's Mail, mm -hmm. apparently. Flight. It's the official Which, review. Yeah, official review. We got the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. That's the add-on. Oh, it's add-on. But it's part of the meal, though. Chicken, chicken Spicy nuggets. Spicy chicken nuggets. Yes. French fries. Fries. High C. High C. Right? And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why does this look blurry? What's color? I thought it looked blurry. It looks dark. I don't know about blurry. Yeah, I know it's dark. Mine looks like a slime. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot going on here. <laughs> Dang. I don't even. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't know. So, we got any questions for the people? Mm hmm. Who's going first? You? I do. Alright, I have a question. Alright. When I first walked in here, it looked like you guys were talking about something and you got separated. I heard something about Sugar Daddy or something. What was that all about? <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah. That's called wrong folks so. stuff. Okay. Okay. I don't mean like, you know, when she's talking to her, like, you, know, you couldn't have been talking to me. Who you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's your question? That's grown folks. <laughs> My question? Mm -hmm. Yes. These ain't got spicy, for real. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to really ask you. You should do so many jobs and shit, you know. Mm -hmm. What? You but, know what? Let me ask you this. Oh, okay. Do you use companies as fans? No, I'm not. <laughs> right. I need to get. I need. I need to see the books. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I think that if you show me the books, I can figure out you a better vacation. Better vacation? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? You deserve to work hard. You know what I'm saying? Well, he got that what? bus down. I don't know. He got, look, he got one. I Wait. had to. How much was that? They want to know. Well, I walked into this one store. I heard all different types of prices. I heard 38000 28000 and then somewhere in that range. For one of them prices. You, one of them prices? Between 28000 and 38000 Could be the floor, could be the ceiling. I don't know. But. It's all a ceiling. That's nice though. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. That's a car. Mm hmm. No. What's the most expensive thing you ever bought for yourself? Not that. Not even remotely close. Uh, <laughs> my car? The car. The car. Who that? Mm -hmm. That was the price of my car. No. That was a fancy car though. 40000 No, it's a fancy my car. My car is on your watch, on your wrist. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's true. And gas. <laughs> and gas. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! What do you want for Christmas? Yeah, my birthday's coming up, so I'm trying to figure out what y'all get me for my birthday. When's your birthday? The day before Christmas. Really? How's that like growing up? Growing up, it was cool. Like, you don't always get the short end of the stick. You don't get no birthday party or nothing, right? No, I don't get none of that now. I don't get anything now. <laughs> and like, or if I do, I get one present, but that's. Christmas birthday. Right, you know how it is. My dad, my dad's birthday was December twenty third. So poor guy. <laughs> yeah. To be getting like one gift that's for two things. Then it's hard because, like, people are with their families mm -hmm. on Christmas. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gone. That's what I'm saying. 
So if I want to do something for my birthday, I either got to do it like early in the year or maybe like December, a week before. But yeah. you're, you're right between Christmas and New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. I got, I got to share. It's tough. So we want for Christmas. But my birthday is a holiday too. What is it? Tell me my birthday is. That's a good question for you. When is my birthday? It's a holiday. Not a holiday. And I was here. Oh no, hold on, hold on. Was it Halloween? What? November, December. What fucking holiday is that? How dare you? Don't, wait, 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 no, 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 no. You see? No, 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 no. Bust down, Rosie. Okay, remember my birthday. Mm. That's crazy. Hold on. What holiday was that? Stripes. Mm. No, I really feel terrible about this. Hold <laughs> on. Man. You ain't stop chewing. You ain't feel too damn terrible. <laughs> holiday. We were here. Where the hell did we go? Mm. Was it Fourth of July? No. What was it? Oh my God, what month is it? See, that, that says you really need a vacation. You can't... I don't know what it is today. And how I don't need another How old are you again? How old you say you was? Damn, I'm 34. Your, your, your mind's supposed to be sharp as a tap. You're not supposed to forget nothing, dog. Mm. You got to send you the boot camp. What is it? May 5th. It's even mild. Oh, <laughs> no, <maybe that. laughs> I don't <laughs> Okay. Shout out to our, our Mexican viewers, but yeah, God remembers everybody. Are you Hispanic? I'm black and Mexican. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm yeah, I got the holiday. Mm -hmm. That's because all right. He was but that's why I said he was supposed to remember. It's not a, mm -hmm. not a, 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 a master. It's not a, a world holiday. Yeah, I was thinking like mm -hmm. what. I mean, it's a holiday. I was thinking like New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day. Okay. Do you get the day off work on Saturday? Hey, Saturday? Don't, don't believe the hype with these two right here. They're just non believers. Non believers. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a great holiday. It's a beautiful holiday out of all the holidays except for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you sound right. I'm right, but like, you know what I'm saying? I still gave you your, your ups, you know what I mean, on yours. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Um, you want DGG to have kids? Yeah. Yeah. When? He's about thirty. Thirty. I like that. Thirty. Cause he always talking about how he wants kids. Yeah, but see, you know, kid yeah. kids is. I don't want to be offended by this statement right here. It's just uh, you know, it's, it's a rough way of saying it. But if anyone ever owned a puppy, mm. kids are like puppies. So you have to give them love and attention and you have to be there. He has a job, we will not let him be there like that. <laughs> 30 minutes. You know, you guys, independent, and the independent workers should always look at it like, I want to be like an NBA star. I want to be able to retire and have my bankroll to the point at least 30 to 40 years old. Mm -hmm. You can feel it and still enjoy life. Okay. And puppies, by the way, mm -hmm. using that as an example, that ain't even it either. You can leave your dog. <laughs> you, <know what>? <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave your kid. You can leave your dog, leave your cat. Leave leave the dog what, outside. I mean, what I mean by that, what I mean by that is just, it was going to require a lot of, of course. time. And you know, when you're when you're just not getting a chance to enjoy life. And I wouldn't recommend it because I'd be like, hey. You got the, you got the dream world of it is, mm -hmm. you know? You don't have no, no kids, it's your own crib. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can open up the front door and say, get out. Mm -hmm. All right, so that leads me to my next question. How, what is your, who would be the perfect girl for him? Well, I'd say. Has he met her yet? Have you mm -hmm. met her yet? I, I, I've met one that I, I liked, but I ain't gonna say her name. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I like the young lady. She was really nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? Let me say it. You can't say it? 
I'm not gonna say it. Because I gotta watch the videos. I'm gonna say it. You wanna say it? Yeah. Watch my video. Alright, I heard the man. But, um, yeah, I, I felt like she just, you know, well, she didn't look, she just tried to grow a little bit, you know, fill things out. Okay. But he got his own mind, you know what I'm saying? I ain't telling him what to do. <laughs> Grown man now. Grown man. <laughs> mm hmm. My days are gone. So, um, y'all wanted me to give it up? No. No. Right now, I, I didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, my mother um, reads eight minutes, that's why I just So, let me ask you something. So, Can I turn this back on? Is what you saying? Yeah, we went down. Why you stop? No, you got, you I didn't know how to restore it. Okay. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he, he asked me a question like I want for you. So how come you never ever became that romantic friend? Who? Or have you? To who was his friend? DG. I began. You could have been a candidate. <laughs> Put me on the spot. You didn't put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I've never been a candidate. I've never, never even crossed, your mind. crossed my mind to be a candidate. No, I got friends like that too. I see. hard that. to believe though. Yeah, I feel like they think we have, or. Oh my they, God. I, I, I saw it on you. Know, you know how, you know how, like, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you can have a female friend that you truly understand, but you know what I mean? You don't have that. Feeling towards them like, well, we about to smash or whatever, yeah. thing like that. But you know, when you get in a relationship, it's hard to understand that. Is it possible to have a female, or is it possible to have an opposite sex friend? Yes. Yeah, I think you so. got. They, they got to be. They got to be like. And they're both. They got to be brought into play at the beginning. What about they they're both attractive the too? And they're both attractive. I think he's Jim. very. I think he's very attractive. But they gotta be I bought. Just, in, I'm saying the relationship, the person the relationship, they gotta be bought into play from Jump Street. Not like I got a friend down a week, or I'm like, oh. Nah, no, I've never like I've always like now now that I even know him more, like he's been around. You know, I see. I feel. I'm like, talking about enjoying. So you're saying so, so, so you're saying like. Okay. Well, he was saying, talking about DDG. Yeah, you're saying yeah. if you you came if you had a a male friend, mm. an associate, and um, you're. Making videos here in this house, mm. and you went back to your male friend, mm. and you said, "He's just my butt." Mm. Yeah, that's for work. This falls under work. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, work still falls the same way. What are you doing after hours? You know what I mean? <laughs> nah. Every guy. Nah. Hey, look, like you sleeping on the couch in the studio. It'll come up. I even yeah. like, like how he said, "Can guys and girls be friends?" I have a friend. I've no, we haven't even known each other that long. It's been like three years, mm. but like, I've never looked at him that way. I don't, I don't know. I can't speak for him, but like, I've slept in the same bed with him plenty of times. He ain't never poked you. Never in the poked me. <laughs> never. Never poked me in the back. Never did anything. Never mm -hmm. touched me. He never crossed that line. So I think you can definitely be friends with the opposite sex. Yeah. You can. Is that insulting though? Let me think about this. Like, can, you can't just have a homegirl or a home. Are you sleep in bed with? I didn't want to sleep on the couch. What's wrong with that? I didn't want to sleep on the oh, couch. You gotta, you gotta have trust somewhere. So my brother always told me, he was like, if you get an invitation, you will always get that. Okay, so you know is it okay I mean? for your, op is it okay for your significant mm -hmm. other to sleep in bed with an opposite sex friend? And there's, a, a it's okay. I'll, I'll leave it there, I'll leave it there. Your significant other versus versus your significant other sleeping in bed with his homeboy who's uh, same sex his homie. You don't care about that shit, but you have a problem if an opposite sex friend. Am I tripping? I see your question. I'm curious. Yeah, you're I'm curious. the wrong way. Okay. You, you, you all right I, I'm just curious. I want to know like, what people's like, thoughts are. Like you came over here to shoot this video. Mm -hmm. I'm, see, I'm not talking about what you, he's talking well, about. Okay, well, you came, well, put it this way. You go somewhere to shoot a video. Mm -hmm. and, and or you're going to do anything, whatever. You with your buddy, you're playing video games, basketball, whatever the fuck it is. Mm -hmm. But you fall asleep in the same bed with him. Y'all don't do nothing. Y'all strictly platonic. 
When you go home, you need to tell your significant other. I just fell asleep and laying in the bed next time you think it's gonna go. Well, Larry. Would it go? Yeah. Would it be okay? Yeah, would it be okay for him to come back and say the same, but vice versa too. Are we, I'm speaking in general. I'm not speaking about this specifically. I, I, yeah, I'm not speaking about this specifically. I don't know, not specifically, but I'm just saying, though, that would. I know, typically, I don't think that would fly right. It, it, it either way, part, would it? I don't think. Guys definitely know if he's sleeping with another dude, mm -hmm. no, he ain't having that. Thank girls, you. Girls ain't gonna believe it either. I that's a, that's a, that's a hard <laughs> thing to, to get somebody to believe. So then, so then, so then you can't be true friends with the opposite sex. If you have a significant if other. If you have a significant other. other. No, you just gotta have certain. You just you gotta have, to have be certain respect boundaries, like, like you know, like you, you got to go the extra mile. Hmm. The shit that you normally wouldn't do with just a regular person. Like it if this is your best, trust. this is your best trust. friend. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta make sure that they have their trust factors up. Like do, do they trust you? Right. Are you yep. married? Yeah. Would your wife be okay if you went to your homegirl's house, slept in her bed? Would she believe y'all been doing anything? Well, that's my whole point. That's what I'm saying. Do you no. think your wife would? Mm -hmm. No. No. No one would. And you wouldn't believe it either, would you? Would you believe? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. yeah. That's but, a hard thing to go. You know, that's a hard, hard, hard friendship that. Mm -hmm. You know, you only, but it's you're, possible. You're only good for you. You would only be good for like you know, breakups. Can't wait till they break up so I can do <laughs> That's why I say there's no such thing. This is all hypothetical situation, guys. That's why I say there's no such thing as an opposite sex friend. Especially if you have a significant other. It's not allowed. If you're a private person. It's not allowed, right? You can't. Well, listen. you know, you gotta look at it. Men and women have been doing it for time and time they you know they get with someone and basically if you're a true friend you know what i mean and they know you're in a relationship they don't expect for you to hang out with them they don't expect for you to come around but they expect for you to be there if they need you you know what i mean where you can say my friend needs me and they're like oh okay, okay. that everyday boy mm -hmm. call <laughs> they ain't understand none of that none of that i say 11. that's like it Almost 20 minutes. Oh, shit, we gotta finish this up. That's how, that's how, you know. Alright, well, um, <laughs> what? Alright, last question you have for her. Go ahead. What you mean? I thought you had a question. I know, that was it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, me and her both did a question. You the one I did, what? Oh, ask me a question. Well, I gotta ask a question? I did, I just asked her a question. Okay, well, I guess we don't do it. <laughs> Call it a day. Call it a day. Yeah, call of the day, third yeah. call of the day. Yeah, all right, guys. Make sure you go check out the uh, flight meal at Wendy's. Mm -hmm. Now, both of y'all say it. How you say it? Girl, FTC. I'm not here. FTC. Flight team stand up. Flight team stand up. I can't say it like that. <laughs> I, I gotta say it like a G. <laughs>